Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to show a confirmed message to close application form in C sharp. Okay. So uh, in most of the cases, when you click on this, suppose you have this application and when you click on, click on this logout, it asks for that you are sure you want to uh, log out yes or no. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So now let's start this. And now here you can see this. When I click on this logout, it's just move to this form one. Okay. So how to prevent this? It how to make the user ask that uh, if he want to actually uh, go to that form or not. Okay. So for that, just double click on this. And here you can see this. Uh, this is the code to move from one form to another form. So how to show this confirmation message? Let me just show you. So. Before starting, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. So now let's start with this. So I'm just writing an if condition if message box dot show are you sure and just question mark this and after that. Uh, just write message box name, confirmation message, and after that I want to give button. So I want to give button OK and cancel. So message box buttons dot OK and cancel. Here you can see this OK and cancel, and I want to give a warning sig signal. Okay, so for that I have to write this message box icon dot warning so when you write this warning it will uh, show user a triangular shape of yellow color with the eye uh, the warning signal and just double bracket close and now you can see this so let me just close that inside the bracket now let me see what actually the problem is so Implicit convert system to boolean. Okay, so let me just see what the problem is. Okay, so you have to write actually is equal to is equal to okay dialog dot result. Okay, so actually in if condition we have to confirm that user is pressing which button. If uh, message box shows two buttons, okay and cancel. And here we are checking that if user press this OK button, then we have to perform these codes. OK, these lines of code. Here you can see this. You want to perform this. This code. And if not, if we press cancel, then just in the else condition, you just need to write this dot activate. And this will activate the current form and just save it and now when you execute it now I'm going to click on this logo here you can see this it's asking for are you sure if you confirmation message here you can see this are you sure is the text which is here and this is the uh, message box name that is confirmation message and this is button that is ok and cancel you can see this ok and cancel and this is message box icon that is warning you can also put error just cross sign and there are multiple options you can check it out one by one and if you cancel it will not move you to the second form and when you click on this ok it will move you to the second form here you can see this so that's it for the today's video i hope you liked and enjoy my video so thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and thanks